Hello, and welcome to the desk. I'm Robert Puncher. I'm Dan Leitman. Maximum news. Minimum pants. Oh, there. There we go. <laughs> Some light, not enough. There we go. Perfect. Here are your news stories. A 111-year-old Australian man recommends the secret to a long life is eating chicken brains. You can't have mine, said Lindsey Graham. It's a solid Lindsey Graham impression. A Chicago cat fleeing fire survives a five-story jump and walks off, also saying, Nice, I got away with it. Rudy Giuliani says he is being treated like the head of a drug cartel, mainly because Don Jr. won't stop blowing up his phone for a bump. Halle Berry reveals her favorite workout equipment like a yoga wheel, yoga blocks, and 50 pound boxes of unsold Catwoman DVDs. Naomi Campbell welcomes her first child while Matt Gates welcomes his 22nd. CBS News wrote how to watch next week's spectacular Super Flower Blood Moon Lunar Eclipse, also telling you where you can get it once White Claw releases that flavor. About a million bees died when left on a hot EPS truck for weeks. The story is people saying it was tragic, and also, who ordered a million bees? NBC News wrote about a promising psychedelic drug that is facing stigma. Stigma like, it's dangerous, and why is my hand a cat? Meow. <laughs> Biden promotes his infrastructure plan alongside Ford's new electric F-150, saying there's no turning back. Okay, but maybe some turning back with things? Can we get a chairlift? The 11-year-old girl who fought off the attempted kidnapping credits Law & Order SVU, which you can tell because once she fought him off, she mumbled under her breath, Executive. Microsoft CEO responds to news of Bill Gates' affair with employee, saying, Oh, sure, I'll answer your question. We'll get it next time. J&J CEO says vaccine production could resume in days. I mean, the pressure is too much since they only have one shot. It's good that you whispered it, yeah. <laughs> J&J CEO says vaccine production could resume in days. I mean, the pressure is too much since they only have, like, one shot at this. Ah, yeah, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> the former president moves north from Florida for the summer. It's the first time a person that old with that much dementia has moved away from Florida. E wrote, what's coming to Netflix in June 2021, like a button that says, go outside. Seinfeld writer Larry Charles says that Kramer would have believed in QAnon, and if you don't believe it, what were you even watching during quarantine? A new $260 million park floats on the Hudson, and it's a one bedroom. Slate says there's just one problem for Ford's electric F-150. I assume it's that nobody has seen it since Biden's visit? For the desk, I'm Dan Leitman. I'm Robert Puncher. See you next week.